and wanting to react to the story. In fact, let me bring in right now uh, from the department, the acting head, Dr. Rian Stradom. Dr. Stradom, good evening to you. Uh, a, a sad day, as we heard there from uh, Leratum Tunzi of the Young Nurses Indaba Trade Union. How do you as the province explain what has happened here? Uh, good, uh, good evening uh, to, to yourself and the listeners and uh, viewers on, on the Newsroom Africa platform. Um, I think thank you for the opportunity I must indicate. Um, I think the, 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 firstly, the challenge that we, that we are facing is that we, the matters as it is being presented, unfortunately, is not 100% true in terms of this. The, the challenge, of course, as we indicated, I was listening to, to the comments being made, uh, at the statements being made about shacks, broken chairs, and, and all those type of things. Uh, I think to say that, first of all, we must indicate where this, as this institution come from and what the history is. The, the, the fortunate thing for me is that I've been in this, uh, I've, I've trained myself in this facility, and we understand this facility quite well. Uh, in terms of that. And uh, when we look at the, the allegations that are being raised, I must say that, that it is a bit of a, shall I say, a dismay, because we had, we were just mentioned, uh, the previous speaker just mentioned, to say that there is uh, a nursing council, etc., at CHE. And uh, I must indicate, nursing council, the National Department of Health was there this year still, and in the past, we had experiences, and I'm talking now of years ago, where nursing council and and uh, other oversight bodies attend, visited the, the nursing college. And uh, at some stage, uh, we have experienced that they have immediately acted when they found that things are not in place. We have a very good relationship with nursing council. We have a good relationship with CHE as well, National Department of Health. And uh, as recently as two, two weeks ago, we had uh, the Director General of, of Health, uh, Dr. Sandile Butelezi, here, so that we can discuss to see how we can also then strengthen, together with our NEC, uh, our response, not only in terms of general health issues, but a lot of the discussion went around the nursing college specifically. D Dr. No. D Dr. Stradum, if things were running a as smoothly as you're indicating, why would this college then be facing closure in the first place? Well, I, I must contend that the closure that are being spoken about is being prom prompted and promoted by, by uh, the previous speaker's organization, I think, why need to. The nursing council have never raised anything like this. Uh, the CHE, the same as well. Uh, the National Department was there this year already. They have never raised anything after their visits that we had with them. In fact, they were raising to say that the simulation labs that we have put in place, they have congratulated us and, and in terms of the work that we have been doing. We must further indicate that this matter of, of the closure is, is unfortunately uh, I don't know if you want to call it uh, propaganda or whatever you want to call it, but it is devoid of truth, I must be honest with you, because we have never received anything from any institution and oversight body or even a statutory body uh, to say that indeed it is like this. So, so, um, I, so, so are you saying that the college has been able to meet all criteria to continue operating? If it did not meet the minimum requirements as per prescriptions of nursing council for the current qualifications that have been offered, then we would have been closed a long time ago. We had nursing council at our uh, uh, premises visiting the province in 2018. They were there in 2019. Unfortunately, due to COVID 2021, uh, they did, were not there, but they were here in 2022. So in all those three years, uh, excluding the years of COVID, that they visited us. There was no even mention that they have got any intention. And the Registrar of Nursing Council would have written to us, already indicating to us that there is this problem that we are facing. Are you in the process in of relocating your premises? Yes, we, we are in the, that process. I must indicate that we have, we currently 
constructing a nursing uh, accommodation that we that is under construction. Uh, we have had uh, challenges with COVID where the contractors have not been able to finish the, the, the work within the specified uh, uh, contractual time. However, through interventions and support of uh, together with the uh, Department of Public Works, we have been able to, to uh, appoint, recently we appointed a new contractor to take over the, the completion of this unit. So, so, uh, so why the need to relocate um, if everything again is we have a as, broader plan, a, a, as smooth as you would like us to believe? Yes. No, we have, look, I'm, let's be very honest. Uh, when nursing colleges had, uh, went through a very difficult time, nursing education in general, because you sat with a situation where nursing education were fragmented into universities, nursing colleges, and nursing schools. And these are the matters that we have been raising to say that we need to standardize. And that's what Nursing Council, as the previous speaker had mentioned, they have standardized things. And we have been following those standardizations. But as part of the plan of the Northern Cape, and this is a plan that we have already put in place a while ago, because the phase one is under construction, as we are speaking. Phase two will then start very soon, as soon as we have finalized the, the plans and the specifications, uh, because moving to higher education, initially the plans were drawn uh, under the old uh, requirements, and we had then to review the plans to suit the Council of Higher Education requirements. But when you are looking at it, it will, we will have new cafeteria, we will have cafeteria for students, there'll be accommodations, there'll be auditoriums, and all those. And that will be linked with the current simulation laboratories uh, and so and the library that we that we in the process of setting up because the infrastructure is already there. We have a, a temporary library that is next to the, the current college, uh, but then it will move, of course. Uh, as soon as possible. We All right. Sort of, uh, Rian, we're okay. going to have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we're completely out of time, but I think you've had the opportunity to at least put your side of the story as the Northern Cape Health Department there, and he is the acting head, uh, Rian Stradom.